All right, we are going to be heading today to Island Falls to the infamous Bible Point on the Mattawamkeag River. And um, we're going to be going there to see this park. And I'll be doing some filming there today, so that should be pretty interesting. Um, just out here in front of the, or on the side actually, not really in the front of it, but the ministry office. Nice day today. Looks like it should be a good day. Uh, just kind of pan around here. See behind me, down the back there. So, looking forward to going to see this thing. And um, have a very important study to do when we get there. And uh, so, I don't often come out here and show very much of this, so I figured I'd just take a little quick walk this morning before we leave and uh, just show around here. You can see the old uh, Baptist church over my right shoulder there. That was a library, and now that's shut down. So, but we're going to be loading up here and uh, We'll film a little bit more later. All right, driving down through the town of Patton. See that big Babel building there, that nice phallic temple there. Turn here. A new command, it says there, at the Babel building. Huh, how about that? So. There's the Masonic Lodge, right there, Katadam Lodge. Always there for all your Luciferian needs. Every small town has to have one of those, that's important. So we are on heading out 159 to Island Falls, first to Crystal and then to Island Falls. Out at the limits of the town of Patton. Huge town. No, maybe not. My dad used to always say the thriving metropolis of Patton. Well, he didn't say it of Patton, but it's metropolis. Well, maybe not. Okay, we're out of town now. So, <laughs> anyhow. Alright, now we are coming into Crystal. I guess we're technically in Crystal, but it's kind of the little area here. You have some railroad tracks, potato place there on the left. Across the railroad tracks. Up there's a old Babel building, now turned into a house. Been a house as long as we've been down in this area. So kind of an interesting place to live, I guess. But you can see there's the scales on the left there, the yellow thing. The potato truck. John Deere tractor, potato sorting machine thing. Still on 159 heading into Island Falls. coming 
into Island Falls here in just a few minutes. So I'll show you that when we get there. Right there is the sign for Island Falls. Right there, Island Falls, Maine. Welcome. 1872. Much better time back then. <clears throat> certainly not whatever it was it's not that anymore <laughs> say it that way and there's the old that big white place is the old island falls opera house theater type of thing and somebody bought it and they're kind of trying to redo it and whatever else which is fine but here we are at junction route two and that's where we're headed down this way. Cross over the river here. Neat thing about northern Maine is there's a lot of old Victorian houses when you get into the towns. Not so many out in the countryside. There's a few, but mostly in the towns you have a lot of old Victorian homes. Places, <clears throat> some really big places too. Calvary Chapel, back in there, whatever. Now we're going down here a little ways and we're looking for Michaud Road. This is it right here. I'm not mistaken. Uh, we need to take the Shaw Road. Like this. And then we drive down here a little ways and we're looking for Merriman, I think it is, Road. And here it is. <clears throat> And then we just keep driving down this way for a long ways until we get to the Mattawamkeg River. And then it'll be about a mile of hiking one way in. So that'll be it for now. All right, we are still driving back here. Some rough areas here washed out, rutted a little bit. But, uh, there's a GPS there, you know. We're on a road, but we're not on the road, apparently. And over there's Norway Island, it says. So, somehow we went from northern Maine to Norway here. So, <laughs> I don't speak Norwegian, so I can't really say hello in Norwegian or anything. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> Still driving back to get to the Bible Point. I guess. We just wanted to bring our GPS. We don't use the GPS for going places, by the way. We try to see. We'll bring this. I bought an old used GPS just to see if people can program it to get back to certain areas. And if the GPS doesn't work in certain areas, that's usually where we like to go and hang out. <laughs> because that means there won't be tourists back in here. So, that's why we have a GPS kind of a different way to do it but uh, yeah so another lovely back road here in Maine northern part of Maine and hopefully pretty soon we'll be at the end of Merriman Road and uh, where this hiking trail goes back at Good size rock right there. Nice boulder. All right, here we are down a little bit further. 
kind of rough now. I don't know what in the world. Here. 1058. I don't know what. I've never been down in here, so I have no idea where we are going. I have no idea. <laughs> Is this... It? Do we walk from here? Well, we're not going that way. That's not a road. I would assume that this is probably it. as far as the road went so I guess we'll park here and hike on this trail over here a little bit and see where that goes all right we've been walking here for a little while and we are finally coming up to Bible Point let me see here it's absolutely beautiful back in here Mosquitoes and black flies are pretty bad, but uh, <laughs> that's just the way it is back here. Let me spin it around and show you what we're looking at here. Bible Point, State Historic Site, Department of Agriculture, Conservation, and Forestry, Division of Parks and Public Lands. All right, so I guess we walk back this way to get back here. Theodore Roosevelt sure knew how to pick a good place to come and read the Bible. All right. This place to which a great man in his youth liked to commune with God and with the wonder and beauty of the visible world is dedicated to the happy memory of Theodore Roosevelt. Stranger, rest here and consider what one man having faith in the right and love for his fellow man was able to do for his country. Herman Hegedorn, 1921. Theodore Roosevelt was a Freemason and had his family connections and everything, but he still was a strong man. There he is riding a moose. Pretty neat. Uh, see if I can do that here later today, maybe. Well, probably not, but... Uh, I think the sign is in some serious need of repair. Just kind of show it there if you want to pause that and read it. Very interesting. So I'll be right back. I need to go over here. What a place. Look at this. Boy, they even have a pulpit ready for me and everything over here. That's a good deal. Really a beautiful spot. This little point that sticks out here. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. I apologize if it is.
Well, it doesn't seem too bad back in here as far as the black flies and the uh, mosquitoes seem, so I think I'll probably do a sermon out here quick, and we'll see how that goes. All right, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad here. Um, I just got done with the study right over that way. So that'll be up here in a little bit. Let's see if I can go down this thing right here. Without falling in or something. Backpack on. There he is. Out in the water having fun, huh? Good boy, good boy. Good job, Oliver. Luther likes the water. Well, not too far out. I don't want him getting out there into the current and swept away or something. It's not too bad, but. All right. So, I'm going to walk back up this way. Ooh, a little muddy, a little murky here. So, gonna come up through here. Look out, Luther. Ugh. All right, good. Now we're going to head back. You gonna grab the tripod there and thank you. And uh, we're going to go over, there's a bridge over here. Excuse me. Okay, we can go right through here. There's a little trail right there. Okay, go ahead. So, that yeah, turned out pretty decent. The black fly, flies and the mosquitoes weren't too bad. Shortcut. I was ahead for a little bit at least. Oh, watch your feet here. Pretty good little gap in between there. Yes. Just watch what you're doing. Be careful. Watch your step. I walked on this bridge before. Did you? You can see the snowmobile tracks across it. Oh, yeah. Track in the middle and the skis, whatever up front there. So, all right. Here we are. So, how far down does the trail go? Watch out here. We won't go down real far, but just curious. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, hold on. Turn around. All right, we have a look at that big, huge tree right there. Go on over there, buy it, Oliver. Stand by it. Show people how big it is. Hurry, run. Ah, it's a big tree. 